fellow designers, I'm Kristen Thompson with I Love to Create, and I want to show you a quick and easy way to add sensational color to your favorite fabrics. It's with Tulip Fabric Spray Paint. It's a permanent, non-toxic, non-aerosol fabric paint that dries soft and flexible while bringing your creativity to life with vibrant color that will stay true over time. So before you get started, you want to cover your basics. Number one, pre-wash your fabric, but do not use any fabric softener. Number two, you want to make sure that your work area is covered. I like to use plastic tablecloths because they're easy and they're just the best. And number three, for any heavy applications, you want to slide a tulip fashion form in between your layers and that'll help prevent your paint from bleeding through to the other side. So let me show you a few techniques that you can use with our tulip fabric spray paint. Once I feel confident about how it's coming out, I'm going to bring it over to my actual fabric that I'm going to work on and create my design. Now this is going to be just a full on spray. So I'm pushing the nozzle all the way down and it's creating a really nice mist. Now another technique that you can do is you can do a splatter. And in that case, I like to use my thumb. It just feels a little bit more comfortable. You can use your index finger too if you like. So I'm going to go with my thumb and I'm going to push my nozzle all the way down. Now I'm only going to come up halfway and just do little tiny pumps. And then you can kind of see my paint start to splatter out. That's how we do our mist or our full on and our splatter. Now I've already placed my flexible stencil on top of my piece of fabric and I'm going to grab another sprayer. Again, I'm going to test it on my scrap fabric. Give it a couple of sprays. And then I'm going to come back over here, double check and push down on my stencil and then I'm just going to spray right over it. Now you can let your stencil sit there if you like, or you can pull it off right away. I'm impatient, so I love to pull it off right away. Now you don't have to use a stencil to spray over with. You can even use um, an old piece of lace or a doily. So another way you can use it is as a resist. So I'm going to take my fabric here and you can use anything. You can use some old cutouts that you might have or a doily or even a pair of scissors. So I'm just going to put my scissors right here in the middle. And it's best to start with a darker color spray and then go back over it with a lighter color spray. That way you can really see the object that you're trying to resist with the paint. So I'm going to do a couple of practice sprays and then come right back over it and spray right on top of my scissors. The last technique I want to show you is the crumple technique. You take your fabric and you lay it flat and you're using your fingertips, you're just going to kind of pull the fabric together, just like this. Just pinch your fabric up together and then you're going to go ahead and start. You can layer on this one. So I'm going to start with one color first and we're going to do purple. So I'm going to do a couple practice sprays. And then come over and just spray right on top of my fabric. Now, because I want to do a second color, I'm going to go ahead and put some plastic gloves on because the paint is wet and it'll get on your fingertips. So to keep things nice and clean, you put our gloves on. You're going to open up your fabric. And then repeat the same process with your fingertips, pulling the fabric together.
Now what I love about our Tulip Fabric Spray Paint is that it looks really good on light colored fabrics. But if you want to do something on a dark colored fabric, you can always use our snow, like we did on this one. So this is black, and we kind of combined a couple of techniques. We had a stencil and some splatter, and then we added some other, you know, cute embellishments till it's perfect. Now if you find that while you're working on your design, your pump starts to malfunction and the paint's not coming through, it's probably because some of the paint dried inside the top. So what you're gonna do is take your pump and just pull the top off like this. And then you're gonna wanna go ahead and you can use a straight pin to get you started. And you just kinda poke it around the top until you see stuff moving. Then you'll come back with some tweezers and just pull it right out. Then go ahead and put your cap on top. Give it a couple of sprays. There you go. Now, when you're ready to be finished with your project and you're gonna store your paint, what you wanna do is take your cap off one more time, rinse it out in some warm water, then put it back, set it on your shelf, and now it's ready for the next time. So if you're looking for a quick and easy way to bring your creativity to life with vibrant colors, grab yourself a set of Tulip Fabric Spray Paint and spray your way sensational design.